Dear friend, you're as good as my sister. I love you like a sister. I pretty much treat you like one. When your brother died, when one of my friends, when one of my co-founder of The Weird Club died, I was devastated. Not only for me, not only for him, for your parents and especially for you, my friend. You were only seven years old. When they had Shiva, I went with my parents once, and another with time with my parents and them, three-fourths of The Weird Club, a fourth away in, far away in Texas, may not even knowing what was going on. And the time, I was the only fifth grader. You had tissues littered by your bed, but your babysitter was there, and we told jokes from your new joke book. I remember thinking at the time that it was a funny idea, giving a gift to a first grader because someone they loved had died. Now I understand. It was to cheer you up, as were the bunnies and dogs and sheep who we played with, to cheer you up, to dry your wet hazel eyes, which I thought would be dry from what must have been the 20 million tissues that littered your floor. Nothing stopped you from talking about it, even if you had been up the entire night crying. It didn't show when you told me that you were happy for him. He was in a better place, that he didn't have to suffer anymore with cancer, that he was with your grandpa on your dad's side, I think. You're pretty amazing, friend. You know that, don't you? And even if you butter me with poking, and I'll always poke you back, you invited me to your birthday party, even though there's a three-year difference between us. <coughs> Do you know that I've always been invited and I would miss it horribly? Or did you just want me there as a friend? Either way, you must be psychic or, or just really cool. Either way, you're amazing. Remember that when people ask you if you have any siblings, they don't mean to hurt. Remember that you're always pretty amazing, friend Lydia.